Hey guys, and welcome again to my channel. My name is Torira, and today I'm going to be sharing with you a very simple hairspray recipe. I've seen a lot of hairspray recipes online. Some include conditioner, they include like so many things and I just look at them and I literally cringe because when you put conditioner and other things in your hair conditioner, what happens is you mix water with a very stable ingredient and you're introducing bacteria into your hair and then you're wondering why you're having issues with your hair. Please don't do that anymore. This is a simple recipe that you can use. This is not my original recipe. I got inspiration from a licensed trichologist who is helping my husband treat, um, there's a bald patch on his head. If you've watched one of my previous videos, you know that I talked about him having a bald patch and me looking for a solution. So I contacted a trichologist and this trichologist um, gave us a bunch of products, but we couldn't find the hair mist that she um, suggested because it was out of stock. But I looked at the ingredients and I recreated it. And that's what my husband has been using. I use it myself. This hair mist will keep your hair moisturized for an entire week. I hope you like this recipe and let's get into it. But before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. This is a very simple recipe and anybody can do it. It's important for me to mention that I'm eyeballing my own recipe, but I will give you a sample size down in the description box below. I'm going to give you links where to shop the items that I used for this recipe. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing I use is distilled water. And the reason why I use distilled water is because it's more stable and it's used in a lot of cosmetic products. If you don't have distilled water on hand, you want to use boiled water. Boiled water will work just as well. What you don't want is a recipe that goes bad very quickly. If you use distilled water, you make it in small batches. What happens is you have a more stable um, hairspray that you can use for probably almost a month. The next ingredient is rose water and rose water literally helps to soften your hair. It also helps like if you're having dandruff and things like that. Rose water is incredible for your hair and it's probably why this lady included rose water as one of the ingredients. Now moving on, we're going to use vegetable glycerin on its own. It's like a humectant that draws moisture from the environment to your hair. So you know that the mixture is going to keep not just, it's not just water on your hair, but it's actually going to keep the moisture because it's drawing the moisture, moisture from the environment to your hair, keeping your hair soft and supple all day long and probably even for two days. Now we're going into the oils. The aloe vera extract is like incredible. I had to Google what it actually does for your hair and I'm going to read it to you. It says aloe vera contains something called proteolytic enzymes. I hope I pronounced that correctly, which repairs dead skin cells on the scalp. It also acts as a great conditioner and leaves your hair all smooth and shiny. Now, I don't want you taking raw aloe vera. Raw aloe vera is great, but when you mix it with water, it's not a stable thing. It will attract bacteria to it. So if you use the aloe extract, that's oil. It's, 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 it's much better to use something like that if you're going to make a DIY mixture at home. So this aloe vera extract, she obviously knows what she's doing and she chose the aloe vera extract on purpose for this because of these wonderful benefits that it does for your hair. So choose aloe vera extract. I will leave a link in the description box below. And the last thing is the lemongrass essential oil. Lemongrass essential oil is amazing. I use it in my candles. I use it in whatever I'm making around the house. But lemongrass essential oil is particularly great. Like if you have dandruff, if you have like itchy scalp, things like that. It's really, really amazing. So all you do is just put this together in your spray bottle. So now I'm just going to pour everything together. So in the spray bottle, you just want to add your water. The rose water goes next. The lemongrass essential oil. The vegetable glycerin. And the aloe vera extract. Now shake it together and you want to spray it in your hair. So every morning just mist or every other day mist and then you can put your leave-in conditioner or whatever you do, whatever your hair routine is. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell and share with a friend. I will see you in my next one. Bye!